Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at the difference between cardiac arrest, heart attack and respiratory arrest. Do you know what the differences are? Well watch all the way through to the end of this video and please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our important videos. So let's take cardiac arrest first. Cardiac arrest occurs when the heart malfunctions and it stops beating and therefore it stops pumping blood and oxygen around the body. And it's normally triggered by an electrical malfunction that causes an irregular heartbeat, maybe AF or VF. With its pumping action disruptive, the heart cannot pump blood to the brain, the lungs and other organs that need the blood and oxygen, and therefore the person's going to stop breathing normally. Now this person is unconscious, not breathing. Death is going to occur within minutes if the casualty does not receive treatment. Cardiac arrest is a medical emergency and what that person needs is they need you to call the emergency medical services, they need an AED brought to them quickly so send someone else to go and get an AED while you begin CPR. Cardiac arrests are actually a leading cause of death worldwide and cardiac arrest affects thousands and thousands of people annually with about three out of four occurring in the home. If someone is in cardiac arrest we must be able to get help for them quickly perform CPR and get an AED to them. And I'll show you the link below and also above as well, um, so you know how to be able to do that or just refresh your knowledge. Now a heart attack. Heart attack is also confused with cardiac arrest. People sometimes think they're the same thing, but they're not. Because when someone's having a heart attack, they are actually conscious, whereas a cardiac arrest, they're unconscious. And a heart attack occurs when blood flow to the heart is blocked by a clot normally. Now a blocked artery is therefore going to prevent oxygen rich blood from reaching a section of the heart. And if the blocked artery is not reopened quickly, now that part of the heart, which is normally nourished by that artery, will begin to die. So this person is conscious, but heart attacks can lead to cardiac arrest. But hopefully we'll recognise the signs and symptoms of a heart attack and get help to that person before cardiac arrest will happen. So the symptoms of a heart attack may be immediate and may include intense discomfort in the chest, like really crushing sort of pain, or any other areas of the upper body. It can be shortness of breath, cold sweats, vomiting, nauseous, very clammy skin. And people might be feeling these signs and symptoms for a long period of time before they actually take any action for them. But it's important to recognise the signs and symptoms and get help before a cardiac arrest occurs. Now, not all heart attacks lead to cardiac arrest but it can do. And when cardiac arrest occurs, heart attacks tend to be the common cause. Heart attack and a cardiac arrest are both emergency situations and we do need to call the emergency medical services straight away for both of them. If someone's in cardiac arrest, however, we need to be able to perform CPR and get a defibrillator to them quickly. Now the other type of arrest I want to talk to you about is a respiratory arrest. Now a respiratory arrest and a cardiac arrest really mean the same thing as in the person's not breathing and they're unconscious. I just want to explain the differences because the main difference really is the presence of a pulse. Now we as first aiders are not going to be checking someone's pulse. We just use breathing as a sign of life and if they're not breathing normally and they're unconscious, we would do CPR. So during a respiratory arrest, the breathing has stopped which means there was a lack of oxygen in the blood, such as, you know, someone was choking, someone was being suffocated, strangled, strangled or drowning. Now, without treatment, respiratory arrest will lead to cardiac arrest and cardiac arrest will quickly cause respiratory arrest. And when the two come together, when the person's heart has stopped and they're not breathing normally, it's typically just called a cardiac arrest. So in both respiratory arrests, and cardiac arrest, the patient will be unconscious and they will not be breathing. However, respiratory arrest patients still have a beating heart that is pushing blood around the body, whereas cardiac arrest patients do not have a beating heart, no blood being pushed around the body. But without fancy equipment, the only way to tell if the blood has stopped flowing or not is to find someone's pulse. Now, as you know, pulse checking was taken out of first aid years ago, and it's not a perfect procedure, as there's a possibility of getting it wrong, and even healthcare professionals can get it wrong. So both respiratory arrest and cardiac arrest are treated with exactly the same treatment, CPR. 
So if you encounter anyone whose heart has stopped beating or isn't breathing normally, we need to make sure we call the emergency medical services, we need to perform CPR and get a defibrillator to them as quickly as possible. So to sum up, we have three things we talked about today. Heart attack, cardiac arrest and respiratory arrest. Heart attacks are caused by a blockage of the heart. The person is conscious. There's just a lack of oxygen being supplied to a part of the heart. Heart attacks could lead on to cardiac arrest if they do not get treatment. So a cardiac arrest is where the heart has stopped pumping blood around the body and they're not breathing normally. Whereas a respiratory arrest means the heart is still beating but there's no oxygen being pumped around the body. But both cardiac arrest and respiratory arrest are treated in exactly the same way. We call the emergency medical services and we perform CPR. We as first aiders do not check someone's pulse. We just perform CPR and call the emergency medical services because respiratory arrest will lead on to cardiac arrest anyway. Thanks for listening guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and please just leave a comment below if you want any other videos to be shown to you. Thanks guys.